In this video, I'm going to try to simplify the test so everybody can understand. Bifacial call sun 200 watt N type solar panel. So there's a lot of misinformation as far as um, bifacial solar panels on the internet. And I didn't like how other YouTubers did their videos, so I've done my own and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Well, after carrying this thing in my backyard for the past couple of days, I could give you a much clearer answer. These are two bifacial solar panels and I'm going to run a full test today because I don't really like how other YouTubers are running their tests. Overcomplicate things, I just want final simple answers. As you can see, one is facing me and one is facing exactly the opposite way. That's what the bifacial technology is. Basically, they could capture light on both sides. Today I'm going to test out how much power can you actually get from the back side compared to the front side. These are identical panels. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video for those people that are interested to see the specs on this panel, also the price. These are highly efficient N-type solar panels. Also, I want to mention that it's um, in November with the sun very, very low in the sky, but with clear sky here in Vegas. So the weather is perfect. I'm going to hook it up to a Bluetti power bank that has a watt meter on it and it's going to give us exactly how much we could get on the front side, how much we could get on the back side, and also if the bifacial actually makes a difference if it's actually getting light from both sides. So here it is. I'm going to put an app here on the side. So this is the Bluetti app. I'm going to plug in the first one, which is facing the sun. Okay, so right now we're running on that one over there that is facing the sun. We're going to get a wattage in the Bluetti in a second. At uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, 170 watts. That is awesome, right? For 10 o'clock in the morning with a very, very low sun in winter, 180, 170 watts. These panels are ready for 200 watts with the losses in the system, in the wiring, and the fact that it's not perfect day for the sun in the middle of the summer. I think that's excellent. Now we have the other solar panel that is completely flipped. As you can see, it has wires over here in the back, things that will obviously cancel out and reduce the power output because the wires have to go somewhere, right? So I'm gonna plug in the cord and let's see what's gonna happen. We give it a couple of seconds to actually sync up and uh, it's going to reach its MPPT and we are already pushing 123 watts, so 122, 24 watts. So obviously there is a difference between that one and this one because the, the wires and everything else is creating a little bit of a shading, not to mention there is a sticker right in the middle. So awesome results, right? You could get 120 something watts in the back and 170 in the front, so the 200 watt panel should do a lot better, right? Well, the problem is that you cannot make it face the sun with both sides in the same time. And because of that, you're only gonna get full sun on one side. And I'm going to demonstrate by lifting one of these up. So right now, they are shaded in the back, right? So there is no light that can really travel in the back and, and capture anything uh, from the back because they're too close to the wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them up, I'm gonna lift them up in the air. That way I'm gonna give them the best case scenario where you could capture everything that is in the front of the panel, but also some light can escape from the back. Let's see if it's gonna change the numbers a lot. Here it is. So right now it's up in the air. I'm literally aiming at the sun and we can see a little bit of a difference. It's already doing 185. So 173 when it's leaning against the wall where there's like no light can go in the back. And I just parallel them right now, trying to not shade them in the process. The power bank is reporting 355 uh, watts coming in. So that uh, each one will do about 170 right now. And obviously there are some losses in the system. And therefore at perfect angle right now, it's, I got it as good as I can to face the sun, which is the 10 o'clock sun and uh, we're looking at 380 watts. So they're pushing 380 watts at 10 o'clock, 10.22 sun in the morning. Two panels hooked up in parallel directly into a battery backup. So obviously there's some losses that this one is reporting. So they are pushing 200 watts easily each. That is quite impressive, I have to admit. This panel are truly 200 watts. Actually, they are they are running their rated capacity and I'm not even taking advantage of what they can do in the back because they're fairly shaded right now. This side of the panel is definitely 200 watts rated. Uh, whatever light can escape over here in the back is gonna make a very, very small difference when you are shaded like this. But if you are putting them on some kind of a tracking system, these will even perform better than they are performing right now. So right now we're doing 176 watts. So one watt of power does escape in the back. It's very little that can actually get through it, that could go through it right now. But I'm gonna move it away from the wall 
and see what's gonna happen. So right now I lift it up in the air and it's just the reflection of the wall, 12 watts. So just the reflection of the wall of the back is 12 watts. And all that without the cover, so I'm gonna face the sun, no cover, reflection from the back. Let's see. It seems that it's reaching its peak, 183, 184. So reflection in the back plus the front completely exposed, 180 something, 184. So this on a tracker will be quite amazing. It drives me nuts that I cannot capture all the light from the back too to be able to maximize them. The bifacial panels are amazing as far as that goes, but you have to put them on a tracker, something that could track the sun and allow the back to be completely exposed. And if you're lucky enough to have something that is really reflective in the back, like a white wall or something like that, you'll be able to capture some of the extra light that goes in the back of the solar panel also. I'm gonna put them to work into my solar system for the house, uh, so I'm gonna bring you more videos as far as how they do. But until then, uh, thanks for watching and um, let me know what you think at the bottom in the comment section.